on your mark. Get set. Go! The first of these gruesome twosomes to swap their ghoulish garb will scare up 20 bucks and control of the ghostliest show on television. <laughs> A double dare. Get that other, uh, you gotta get the hands on. Nothing yet, not happening yet. Help that person get that other hand on, it's getting close. Keep going here. We've got a winner over here, we've got a winner over here. Get these things off, and yeah, let's go place the double there. And now, here's your double dare host, Count Dracula. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. Welcome. Permit me to introduce myself. I am the Count. Count, one, two, three. Now, welcome to Double Dare, the only show that dares you to win eight great prizes with a run through our crazy obstacle course, but only one team gets that chance. Let's meet today's four players, starting off with the, ready for this, the Corn Cobs, Chris and Colleen. Hello, Corn Cobs. Chris tells me, uh, pardon me, we're starting off with Colleen, actually. Colleen uh, likes to run and travel, and what else? And shop. <laughs> when you shop, where do you go? Bloomingdale's. <laughs> oh, to Bloomingdale's, to Bloomies, all right. And uh, Chris tells me he likes sports, all sports, and nothing but sports. I said, what do you do for fun, and what do you say? Sports. Sports, okay. <laughs> you also have $20 on the board, and let's say hello to uh, the team that's going to try and stop your winning ways. They call themselves the Ghouls, Chris and Kelly. <laughs> Chris, how are you feeling today? Fine. Yeah, what, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? I like to play soccer and play basketball. And what about you, Kelly? I like to swim, read, write, and shop. All those things, huh? You play piano too, right? Yes. How long have you been doing that? Seven years. Want to win some money today? Yes. It's our Halloween show. I think we're going to give a lot of way, uh, give away a lot of money, have some fun here as soon as I get my teeth in straight. Let me tell you about Double Dare. On Double Dare, a right answer gets you dollars, but a dare gets you double, and here's exactly how that works. I'm going to ask a question, and if you don't know the answer or you think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them for double the money. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the bucks. And when that happens, you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. Everything's kind of based on Halloween today, so let's begin with... The Corn Cobs, they have $20 and are in control. What cartoon character is the friendly ghost? Casper. $10 on your side of the board. You now have 30 In what, uh, I love the way they're cheering names out today. In what fantasy movie would you find the bog of eternal stench? Sometimes on the stage, actually, when they haven't cleaned it for days, but in what fantasy movie would you find the bog of uh, eternal stench? Well, $20 over here to the ghouls, Chris and Kelly. In what fantasy movie would you find the bog of eternal stench? Uh, we'll double there. $40 over here to the corn cobs. It's a fantasy movie. Where would you find the bog of eternal stench? We'll take the physical challenge. Physical challenge. Labyrinth. Labyrinth is the answer. And our first physical challenge. Come over here. Walk this way. <laughs> I'm glad you walked out in this direction because there's something, don't turn around, behind you that we'll talk about in just a second. Now, we call this one Devil's Advocate, and uh, there is something different on, uh, on Susan, but Robin looks pretty much the same, don't you think? Uh, okay, we would like uh, one of you, the one who is going to be, uh, well, we have balloons, let me tell you, turn around, there are balloons behind you. They have some orange balloons, and there's one black balloon. You can't pop the black one, you've got to pop only the orange ones. Now, who's going to be the popper? You can be the popper, okay, you put on... The pitchfork, you have that, and you have a blindfold. And your partner is going to put on the cape and the horns. Being the devil's advocate, you lead your partner over there. If you can pop all six orange balloons in 30 seconds or less, you've got 40 additional dollars. Now, let me tell you one other thing. If you pop the black one, you automatically lose $40 goes to the other side. All right, let me walk you over this way. Now, you have some sharp points on the end of your pitchfork. So you stand right about here, and your partner can guide you. You can take it and kind of help them point it around, that kind of thing. You can't do the black one. You've got, 20 se you've got 30 seconds. Uh, you have to do all of them except the black one. On your mark, get set, go! All right, get them going over there. You've got, you've got two, you've got three, four, five. You've got all six. You've got six. Pretty good, all right. You've got $40. Come on, let's play some more double there. And you have... $70 over here, no money over here just yet, and we're taking off our devil's costume. You are in control with 
question number three. What is wormwood? Is it wood that has been destroyed or eaten by worms? Is it a woody plant with a bitter flavor or a retirement home for old worms? Hmm. Uh, what there? All right, $20 over here to Chris and Kelly the Ghouls. What is wormwood? Is it wood that has been destroyed or eaten by worms? A woody plant with a bitter flavor or a retirement home for old worms? It's worth 20 to you. Can you repeat the... Sure. What is wormwood? Is it A, wood that has been destroyed or eaten by worms? B, a woody plant with a bitter flavor? Or C, a retirement home for old worms? Uh, we're going to answer, is it A? Wood that has been destroyed or eaten by worms is incorrect. $20 goes over here to the corn cobs. It's a woody plant that has a bitter flavor. Okay, we're going back over here to the corn cobs. What ghostly term describes a person who does the writing for someone else. It's worth 10, do you bring it up to 100? What ghostly term describes a person who does the writing for We're someone gonna else? We're going to dare them. $20 to Chris and Kelly. What's the ghostly term that describes a person who does the writing for someone else? We're going to double dare them. $40 over here. You know the question. It's a, a term that describes a person who writes for somebody else. Um. We'll take this as a question. Ever heard challenge. of a ghost writer? A ghost writer, that's what we were looking for. What, uh, what's coming up next? We'll step down here and we'll see what's coming up next. <laughs> bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. You two will regret the dare you doubled. And uh, thank you, Alan. We have a little cauldron. Gosh, I'm not too sure what's in here, but uh, it looks a little scary to me. Now, we, uh, we need to add something to our little witch's cauldron. We have, uh, we have an eye of newt. That's uh, sort of an eye there. It's, it's an egg. We'll just crack. Oh, my goodness. Let's put a couple of eyes in there. The eyes have it, obviously. And uh, we have... Uh, I have no idea what this is, but we'll, what is that? Hair of the dog. Yes, I remember that. So, okay, put that in there. Now, uh, what we also have put in there are uh, one of these, and I will find one of these in just a second. You want to hold on to this? Go ahead. You, you be the host of the show for a second. Go ahead. Just talk to yourself. Uh, this is what I was looking for right over here. Say to Sigurd White, and the duck comes down. This is a grown man with a cape and glasses with a nose in it doing a television show. Okay, what we have in here are two other pairs, thank you so much, of glasses with noses on them. Now, I'm going to keep these on so you folks remember what they look like. You've got 20 seconds, $40 to stake. Get down on your knees. Reach down in there. You have to find two pairs of glasses. Once you find them, you've got to put them on. Okay? So get down on your knees. You've got 20 seconds. It's not hot. It's just a uh, little silly stuff we have in there. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go! Okay, reach down in our stuff. Oh, oh gosh, it looks like disgusting spaghetti. You gotta find the glasses. You need two pair, you gotta put them on. You got the eye of Newt. But, oh, there's, I see a pair that came out. You each gotta put them on. You got 10 seconds. Put them on. Right there. Right there, folks. The three of us. We got them. Okay, come on over here. You got 40 additional dollars. Okay. We have $130 uh, over there is what we have, something like that. $130 for the corn cobs, and they are in control. They found those glasses and uh, the noses, and they're in good shape. We have some wonderful-looking stuff down there. Here's your next question. No money over here yet, but I promise that will change. What classic horror film actor can be heard on Michael Jackson's thriller, song, and video? Vincent Price. That is right. For $10, you now have $140. <laughs> We have a little movie math here. You add the number of Halloween movies with the number of Friday the 13th movies and the number of Psycho movies. Then you subtract the number of Poltergeist movies. What number do you have? One more time. The number of Halloween movies with the number of Friday the 13th movies and the number of Psycho movies and subtract the number of Poltergeist movies. What number do you have? Um, we're going to dare them. Okay, after all that, we have, uh, oh yes, I forgot about that. We have $20 over here. Add the number of Halloween movies with the number of Friday the 13th movies, and then add the number of Psycho movies, subtract the number of Poltergeist movies. What's the number you have? It's worth 20. We're going to double dare them. $40 over here. One more time. Why don't you stay along with me at home? <laughs> Halloween movies added to the number of Friday the 13th movies, added to the number of Psycho movies, subtract the number of Poltergeist movies, and the number is... We're going to take the physical Yeah, challenge. boy, after all that, they're going to take the physical... It's, uh, it's 10. Three Halloween plus six Friday the 13th plus three Psycho minus two Poltergeist is 10. Who cares? Okay, we're going to come over here with Chris and Colleen one more time. Yeah! 
You're looking good today, Robin. We have a, uh, a witch's hat. Who's going to wear the witch's hat? I will. All right, step over here if you would, sir. We're going to put that on you. And we have, uh, uh, put the nose on him, too. We make him look good. It's Halloween today. Yeah, okay, we're going to put this on you. Turn around, face your friends. Let your parents see you. They want to know this is... All right. We have some rings here, and you've got to get uh, two rings on top of that witch's hat in 20 seconds. Another $40 at stake. On your mark. <laughs> get set. Go! All right, you need to get two of them up there. Oh, it's a little too high. Keep going. Almost. Keep, keep going there. Yeah! Time is running out. you got 11 seconds. Oh, you're, you're pointing your head the wrong direction, I think. you got six seconds left. You need to get two up there on the witch's hat. $40 over here. You're on the board. Let's play some more double there. That puts the ghouls on the board with $40, and we are going to carry on here in just a second. And uh, did we hear a sound? Oh, I didn't hear that sound. But that sound uh, that you heard at home that we didn't hear in the studio means it's the end of round one. And in the lead with $140 are the corn cobs. So we're going to take a quick break and let our daredevils catch their breath, and we're going to score some more ghoulish sort of pranks in just a second. We'll see you back on double there. You're watching Nickelodeon, May 6th, birthday of the sticky stamp, philatelist. Watch your language. Get your own sticky stamp, lick it, and slap it on your message to Nick Notes. We'll read it to the whole country. Send jokes or love notes, birthday kisses or holiday wishes. Write to Nick Notes, Post Office Box 3803, Stamford, Connecticut, 06905. Nickelodeon. You can't do that on television. We'll be back after these messages. I gotta feel the taste, gotta make it right. Just one thing will do. Gotta get pumped, yeah, gotta get pops. The pop sensation of Kellogg's Corn Pop cereal. Part of this nutritious breakfast. I gotta get pumped, yeah, gotta get pops. Whoa, where'd you get the Garfield bike reflector? I got it free. Now you can get your own Garfield bike reflector with eyes that reflect. One's free inside specially marked boxes of corn pops. The flight of a bird is one of the most captivating wonders in nature. In 1479, Leonardo da Vinci created the mechanical drawings of the bird. And now, with the aid of space-age plastics, you can not only enjoy the flight of the bird, you can command and control it. It'll fly for up to 200 feet on the power of its replaceable thick 8-inch high-test rubber core. The body is tough urethane plastic to absorb hundreds of hard landings. The tear-resistant wings are super-strong Mylar polyester. The internal drive gears are also da Vinci's design. The flying bird is easy to operate. Just wind it up, turn the switch to on, and gently let it go. You can set it to fly in large or small patterns, and it's fun for the entire family. It's precision-made and bulldog tough. Here's how to order the amazing flying bird. Use your credit card for rush delivery by calling 1-800-342-3000. That's 1-800-342-3000. Or send check or money order for $12.95 plus $2.50 shipping and handling to the amazing flying bird. PO Box 1200, Scarsdale, New York. to round two of Double Dare, where both teams still have a ghost of a chance because all of the dollar values are now doubled. And players, when you hear this sound, <coughs> it means they've murdered my assistant and the game is over. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, these guys are raring to go here. Uh, we have some candied apples. It's the orthodontist nightmare. Actually, they like those kind of things. They pull those bands right out of there, don't they? What we ask you to do is use your nose and only your nose, not your hands. Get it from one side of the stage to the other where your partner will pick it up and get it all the way back. $40 at stake, control to round two. On your mark, get set, go! All right, get that going across there. Get it going. Hurry up, keep using your nose. Keep using your nose, you're doing good. All right, get it going across the other way. $40 at stake. You're going in the right direction. Oh, it's close, it's close, it's close, look at this. The one in front went further. This is the person who won, they tell me. Okay, let's go. You didn't go far enough. Come on. 
You've got to go past a certain line, and that's what they did. The Corn Cobs now have $180, and they have the lead, also control of round two. Now, don't forget, you can also double scare because today is Halloween. So instead of a double dare, it could be a double scare. Chris Colleen, here's your question. What group has a song called The Ghost in You? Thank you so much. What uh, group has a song called The Ghost in You? Um, we're going to dare them. $40 over here to the ghouls, Chris and Kelly. It's a group that has a song called The Ghost in You. We're going to double dare $80 them. $80 here to Chris and Colleen. The Ghost in You is recorded by what group? Uh, we're going to take the physical challenge. Why, it's my favorite group again, the Psychedelic Furs. Yeah, I just love that group. Okay, come on, Chris and Colleen. Step over here. Help me out, Chris. This is called... This is called The Worms Crawl In, The Worms Crawl Out, The Worms Do Something. Okay, here we go. This is what they look like. They're little worms. They are actually, uh, take the fort. Uh, they are actually uh, gummy worms. Thank you, Harvey. Uh, run around, make it sound like a crowd. We, we, have, uh, <laughs> we have some gummy worms in here, and we're going to ask you to stick your head in here and uh, get those worms out. They're having a discussion over here about something entirely different. Um, and get them out and put the worms in the cup, all right? Now, one person can guide the other person uh, with, their, um, with the blindfold on uh, place. It'll be a little difficult, so put that blindfold over your head. And uh, you can take the head and make it like a human steam shovel. Just stick their old head right in there. Don't be afraid to get dirty. We have some uh, pumpkin pie. He has, to, he has to put the worm in his mouth and spit it in the cup. We need three worms in 20 seconds. And you can't chew these things. Okay, on your mark. Get set. Go. All right, get that worm in there. You've got worm number one. Okay, you got 17 seconds. You got worm number two. Get your three worms. They did it. They have $80. Come on over. Look at this. Look at this guy. Is that great? Come on over. Okay. We have uh, 10 seconds left on the clock when they did that. They now have $260 and still in round two. All right, corn cobs, what is witch hazel? Is it A, which Ethel's cousin? <laughs> We've lost control. A shrub with yellow flowers or a term that describes a gathering of witches? It's worth $20 to you. Okay, we'll dare them. Dare them, okay, $40 over here. What is witch hazel? Is it witch Ethel's cousin, a shrub with yellow flowers, or a term that describes a gathering of witches? All right, we're going to answer. Is it A? Witch Ethel's cousin. Incorrect. It is a shrub with yellow flowers. $40 over here brings them up to $300. Back in control, the corn cobs. What is the witching hour? What is the witching hour? Worth 20 we're going to dare them. $40 <laughs> over here to the ghouls. What is the witching hour? Uh, is it 12 o'clock midnight? You got it. And you have $40. Back in control. What movie director was psyched in Psycho and flew the coop with the birds? We'll dare them. $40 over here. What movie director was psyched in Psycho and flew the coop with the birds? Alfred Hitchcock. Good evening. You are right. For uh, $40 extra dollars. On what old TV show? <laughs> there she is again. Well, she's back. And that means that that's the end of round two in the game. And with $340, the Corn Cobs have won. Good job. You'll split that. That's $170 a piece. More important, you go to the Double Dare Optical course. We had a silly time here today, and I'm going to do something. You only got $80. I'm going to add $20 to the score, bring it up to $100. You're each going to split that. You'll have 50 bucks a piece. And some great parting gifts. Harvey, tell them what they got. Mark, it's an assortment of games and puzzles. From Milton Bradley, you'll get hours of fun with games including Battleship, Simon, The Game of Life, Milton Bradley, your key to fun, and Skittles, bite-sized candies. Fruit flavors in the middle, orange, strawberry, grape, lemon, lime. Taste the rainbow of fruit flavors in Skittles. And green slime shampoo. Get you clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slimed in your own shower. Some members of our studio audience get Reebok accessories, watches and t-shirts and duffel bags from Reebok because life is not a spectator's sport. And now back to you, Mark. 
Thanks, Harvey. Well, with $340, Chris and Colleen have won today's game. They're at the Double Dare Obstacle Course, starting off with the spider web. You may remember this as the tire swing, but inside we have a little spider, a little web in there. We're going to ask you to get in as you normally might do. Hang on to the rope, swing all the way across, grab that flag, and I see Jeffrey's hanging around here. You want to tell him what that gift certificate is worth, Harvey? Mark, a $75 gift certificate from Toys R Us, the world's biggest and best toy store. Your favorite place to go with thousands of toys and tons of fun in every aisle from Toys R Us. Obstacle number two is ghost bedsters, and what we have over here is a sheet. It has a ghost on it, and it is on a waterbed. Pull this up, and... Oops. Uh, hit the uh, waterbed as you go through there, and you'll find a little flag. Grab that flag, find your partner on the other end, pass it, and you'll win this. A stereo Walkman. Now you can take your music with you with the Sony AM-FM stereo cassette player. It's got auto reverse, a three-segment graphic equalizer, and Dolby B noise reduction, a great musical prize from Sony. Obstacle number three is the terror tank, and we have all sorts of terror coming out from the other side. A lot of black and orange balloons. Jump in here, face first. Well, I'd jump in feet first if I were you. He's telling her to go in face first. Feet first if I were you. There is a flag over on this side. You need to grab it over on the left side. Before you come out, pass it to your partner, and you can win this prize. The Galaxy Skateboard. A new generation of skateboards. Stronger and lighter, these skateboards are constructed of high-tech urethane and fiberglass with aluminum deck. Galaxy Skateboard. We had Harvey all dressed up to do a stunt, and we never got to it, and we worked a lot on this. Give, give Harvey a round of applause. Young Frankenstein right over here. He's looking good. I want you to wear that every day when you come to the studio. Yes, sir. Yes, master. Okay, obstacle number four, if you want to follow me over here, is the pumpkin patch. And what we have are some pumpkins, needless to say. And inside is a flag. Now, I'm not sure in which pumpkin you can find it, but if you find it first and find it quickly and pass it on, Harvey, tell them what to win. It's an answering machine. You'll never miss a call again with Panasonic's Easy Phone Automatic Telephone Answering System. Features include simple message playback and tone remote control system from Panasonic. This is called Graveyard Trike, and you have a tricycle which you have to ride to the sand in the graveyard, and you see the gravestones, and you see a skeleton over there. Look, he's red. He's red skeleton. No, no. Anyway, go around this thing as quickly as you can. You can knock those things over if you want. It may take more time to do that. What you need to do is get to the other side as quickly as you can, pick that flag up, and win this. A portable TV. <laughs> You'll be able to watch TV wherever you are with Sony's Watchman portable TV battery. Operate a two-inch screen complete with a Sony ear jack. Put it in your pocket. Watch your favorite show on the go. The Watchman from Sony. Number six is trick or treat, and we have some goopy orange frosting up the center of this thing. You want to try and stay away from that as much as possible. You need to scurry up this thing as quickly as you can. Jump up on that platform, and you see on the clothesline today, we have some Halloween baskets. Three, as a matter of fact. There is a flag in one of those. If it's in the first one, you're in good shape. Second or third may take a little bit more time. Wherever you find it, grab it, come down the pole, pass the flag to your partner, and you can win this. A CD player. Listen to your favorite music with this compact disc digital audio player from Fisher. Fisher, the first name in high fidelity. Which wall is next? Which wall will this wall? And we want you to jump up here as quickly as you can, leap to the top, pull this flag off. If you do that, you can pass it to your partner. You'll pick up time, and you'll pick up this prize. A new stereo from Sanyo. You'll get this AM FM stereo system complete with double cassette and Dolby noise reduction. Now all your records and tapes will sound great from Sanyo. Da 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 Bat wheel. That's what we're calling this one. Bat wheel. And uh, what we want you to do is get in there and get this wheel going around as quickly as you can. The quicker you get it going around, those lights will light up. Then we have our little flag on the top. You can jump up and get it before the 60 seconds is over with. Harvey, tell him what to win. A fabulous Disney vacation. The Luxury Buena Vista Palace, an official Walt Disney World hotel located in the heart of Walt Disney World Village. You'll dine in award-winning restaurants. Enjoy unlimited transportation throughout the vacation kingdom. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay, there goes another balloon. We have 60 seconds or less to run this obstacle course. Good luck. Why don't you start off on the other end? You'll pick up some time when she jumps off that thing. Get that flag and get underneath that bed. On your mark, get set, go! Swing across there quickly, grab that flag, pass it on. Okay, get underneath here, grab that other flag. Go ahead, get underneath there, find that flag and pass it on. Pass that flag on. There it is, okay, get into the terror tank. You wait down here, you wait down here. Oh, five, get the flag, there it is. Come over here to number four, find it in the pumpkin patch. Find that, you got it, go over here to the desert strike. Get across there, you wait on the other side. Keep going fast, fast, you got 35 seconds. Okay, go on up, trick or treat. Keep going, go up the side, that's a good idea. Pull yourself up, you got 28 seconds. Grab for the top, grab, grab, grab. Keep going, grab up there. Grab the top, grab it, pull yourself up. Pull yourself up, you got 19 seconds. Pull those, pull those back in. Pull those back in, find the flag. Now go to the next one, maybe it's in there. Pull the third one in, you got nine seconds, go down the pole, go down the pole. Okay, grab it, you go over the wall, go over the wall, you got three seconds. 
is up. They got seven out of eight. Let's hear it for them, audience. They did a nice job. Harvey, tell them what they've won. Come Mark, on over here. They've each got the Toys R Us gift certificate, the Walkman, the new skateboard, the phone machine, the Sony Watchman, the Fisher Compact Disc, the new stereo, a prize package worth over $1,600 each. Good job. Good job. Have a safe Halloween. Thanks for joining us here today on Double Dare. We'll see you again. Thanks. Bye-bye. Promotional consideration provided by Ross Bicycles, the state-of-the-art Ross BMX Piranha for both boys and girls, for the kind of kid who rides hard and needs the best. Piranha BMX by Ross is the answer. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok, the official shoe of Double Dare, because life is not a spectator sport. This is your announcer, Harvey, saying see you back here next time for more devilish fun on Double Dare. <laughs> Stay tuned for Aw, Lassie, next on Nickelodeon. What would you say about a talking horse? He must be psychologically disturbed. I'm all in you. He's Mr. Ed, every weeknight at 8.37.30 Central on Nick at Night. Win this one, and there's Nestle Quick for everyone. Quick? Nestle Quick? So chocolatey, so rich and thick, I gotta have you Nestle Quick! Yeah! It works every time. Now there's a muscle creature in Nestle Quick. From Mattel, it's millions of unusual small creatures lurking everywhere. And there's one lurking free in specially marked packages of Quick, while supplies last. Here comes the Roller Racer, the amazing new sit-scape. How's it go? Finally, you don't have to pedal. Just swing the handlebars from side to side for a wild new ride. It's totally awesome. The Roller Racer's patented power drive uses no motor and no battery. So how's it go? The Roller Racer is so much fun, it's used in amusement parks and carnivals around the world. My kids love them so much at Six Flags that we just had to get one for each of them. The Roller Racer is not another flimsy import, but a quality American-made product backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. The entire family will enjoy riding the Roller Racer on any hard surface, patios, playrooms, basement, driveways, or decks. And even after you ride the roller racer, you'll still want to know. How's it go? To order your roller racer, use your credit card and call toll-free 1-800-342-3000 or send $29.95 plus $5 shipping to Roller Racer. Care of TV offer, Box 1200, Scarsdale, New York. For fastest delivery and to avoid COD charges, use your credit card and call 1-800-342-3000. <coughs> Nick? Collodion! <laughs>